friends, your buddy Gilbert here, and I'm so excited about today's video. If you are brand new here, my name is Gilbert, and I am a singer-songwriter living in Los Angeles. This is my YouTube channel. I do reaction videos, have a podcast, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. So I hope that you are down to have a good time, have a lot of fun. In celebration of Divas Month, I am bringing you all of the greatest vocal powerhouses that you could ever think of to rock and sing your face off. I am so excited about today's performance. Ever since I was little, my mom always played oldies and Diana Ross and the Supremes was some of the music that filled our house. Whenever you And I loved it. Songs like Ain't No Mountain High Enough, Touch Me in the Morning, Baby Love, Stop in the Name of Love. So many, I can't even count them. Those songs have become classics to us. You cannot have a diva special in any way, shape, or form and not include Diana Ross. So we are going to be watching one of her live performances of the song Home from The Wiz, one of my favorite movies growing up because I'm a big fan of both Diana and, of course, Michael Jackson. And the very first time I ever interpreted in my career of sign language was during the high school play when I got to interpret The Wiz. It was so much fun. So we're going to get right into it. gentleman in the audience that I know very well, only because, hold on for me, I felt like I've always known him even before I met him. Now, this gentleman did wonderful music for me on The Wiz, and I want, wait a minute, hold on a second, let me get this out. I call, I feel like he's The Wiz. He conducted all the songs in The Wiz and wrote a lot of the music in The Wiz. And I know he calls me D and I call him Q. I want to introduce you to Quincy Jones. Legend. I love when legends acknowledge each other. Quincy and Diana. Legends. That's cozy. I love that she did that introduction to him and paid honor to him, you know? Seeing Diana, but it's not 
So if you see the movie Dream Girls, you do know that the plot is loosely based off of Diana Ross and the Supremes. The musical came first and then the motion picture later. But it is supposed to be based off of Diana Ross's rise to fame and being the voice of the Supremes, despite her not being the strongest singer in the group. But after watching this performance, I'm like, is you crazy? Because this girl can sing. Diana Ross better sing. I'm sorry. I don't know what was... I think what it is is when someone has a very commercial sound, people tend to write them off as, well, they have a commercial sound. So it's all in their tone. They don't really have the power or the range or the versatility to back up album sales but that ain't true you can have both whitney houston's another prime example of a supremely commercial sound with a powerhouse range and control and emotive ability and diana ross she better sing so i don't know what happened back in the day when there was some kind of discrepancy but diana ross deserved to be the voice of the supremes and to have a very very successful solo career following because she has the pipes. She can back it up. This woman has a glorious voice. Golden voice. Love her. Love you, Diana Ross. Thank you so much for watching this performance with me. It really means a lot to me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are brand new to my channel, please smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and drop me a comment. Are you a fan of our featured artists today? I would love to hear all about it. Back to that burning question that we had talked about earlier. I am recently just starting a Patreon, and it's because I really want to continue creating great content like this for you. And if you would consider subscribing to me and partnering with me to help me create great content, I will be so grateful you get early access to all all of my content in real time as I create it and uploaded it. You also get behind the scenes stuff, some more intimate access to me, and you get all of the answers to all of the burning questions that you see in every video a year before they even come out on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the honor and privilege of your time. I do not take it for granted. I love you. God bless you. Please stay safe out there, and I will see you in the very next video. Mwah. Bye!